Hello everyone, in this video I'll talk about what a span of a set of vectors is. Given a set of vectors v1 to vn, a span of the vectors v1 to vn is the set of all linear combinations of the vectors v1 to vn. So something like this, where x1 to xn are scalars and v1 to vn are these fixed vectors. So to give a more concrete example, Let's consider the span of these two vectors. What set does it form? Well, if we write it out, then we get something like this, where we have the linear combination of the vector 1, 0, 0, and 0, 1, 0, and x1 and x2 are any scalars. Adding them up, we get something like this. So it's a set of vectors that can be written out like this. To give a geometric interpretation, we draw it out. So the pink vector is the vector 1, 0, 0, and the blue vector is the vector 0, 1, 0. And we want to take all possible linear combinations of these two vectors. Here we can see that a vector in the span of these two vectors 1, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 0 is just a vector that is going to lie on this two-dimensional xy plane. Let's do another example. Given these two vectors, 1, 4, negative 2 and negative 2, negative 3, 7, and this vector b is 4, 1, h. For what values h is b in the span of these two vectors? So what is this really saying? Well, to be in the span of these two vectors, we need to be able to write b as a linear combination of these two vectors. So let's write that out. So this is a linear combination of the vector 1, 4, negative 2, and negative 2, negative 3, 7. And we want to know if this has a solution. So now, let's just write out the linear equation that corresponds to this. So this is the linear system of equations that we want to solve. So in order to solve for this linear system of equations, we write down the augmented matrix corresponding to this system, which would be something like this. So now let's bring it to echelon form. To do so, we want to get rid of these two. And so we will multiply the top row by negative 4 and add it into the second and then we will multiply the first row by 2 and add it into the third. When you do that, you get something like this. Now, let's divide the second row by 5 so that we get something like this. Next, we want to get rid of this entry, and so we can multiply this row by negative 3 and add it into the third. We get something like this. So, in order for this system to have a solution, we want to make sure that this entry is zero. Because if you write out the linear system of equations, on this side will be zero equals, if it's not zero, then there's no solution. So h equals negative 17. 